Welcome back, folks. Tonight we are showing you the theory first and then the real stuff afterwards. So stick around. I'll show you the theory, what I mean about double bottom to recovery, and then we'll show you exactly what we did when we alerted the Amazon play today. Um, the idea is, I'm sure you guys all know this, but a double bottom is an area where we have both um, the all buyers are actually showing up at the same point. So basically you have a possibility that looks like this and then it turns down to certain level drops and then comes back up and then the next day it could do like this. Oh, now we have a double top and then it drops to a certain level and then drops again to a point. And then what, oh, oh, here we are. What do we have here is, this is what I mean about the double bottom. I'm not talking about a one minute chart that you're only looking at five minutes behind. What I'm looking at is something that is uh, previous day, two days before, it could be a 15 minute, could be the one hour chart, could be a five minute. I like the five minute, but this is a double bottom. What happens is here, basically you have shorts that took the play from there to here will cover at this level because uh you know they, they reach a point where they found buyers at at this level so basically we will have short sellers covering their positions here buyers coming in because they know that this is a safe area because the stop is if we fall under this is a safe area to enter. This is the double bottom, right? Double bottom. You guys need to see this in many charts. You'll have this happening. And this is what we uh, we want to, to show you here, the recovery. Will it recover all the way to the top? Um, I don't really think so. We have a, we were in a situation here as an example. We're in a situation where there was resistance before, uh, poked through, came down to that, and then it flushed to that double bottom. The recovery is to where is to the previous resistance, well, support, now resistance. So here is probably what it's going to do. So the idea is looking at this move, is it worth it? This is what you have to ask yourself. Is that move worth it? From the bo double bottom to what? Recovery to what? Where's the target? So in this particular case, we analyzed that this double bottom or this line was at 30, 90, more or less, right? Where should, where will it go to? Um, and I called in chat 31 to 29 ish, uh, pretty close to that. So you're looking at how much is that? $39, right? Is the $39 worth it? Can you see that? Yes. Uh, let me remove this chart for a second. You're looking at $39. $39. You have to look at Delta. What is Delta? Delta for the 30, uh, we took the 32 sees was roughly 0 0.20. What does this mean? This means that for each dollar rise, delta of 0 0.20 means for each dollar rise, premiums will move by 20 cents, right? We paid 7.20. This is the price we had. So we're looking at $39 for a possible rise at 20 cents, 20 cents per dollar. So 39 times 20 is what? 780, right? So 7.20 plus 7.8 is 15 total. Now, is this worth it? If the answer is yes, well, in my opinion, it is, right? because we had this double bottom where we're taking the risk of what if it loses the bottom, that's the, 
that's when we, we pull the trigger and, and we decide to step out of it. However, if it starts moving our way, uh, this can be the reward. Now, obviously, we're taking this week's expiration. There is decay time. Uh, Amazon will move uh, if, if it goes our way. But obviously, uh, if it's not going our way, it's going to, we're going to lose all the premiums just for, over time. So shooting for that, you can aim at a little lower, making sure you're on the safe side. However, this is how I analyzed it was worth it. From the lows to the target, we had a possibility of getting 720 to something that is worth it at, at, uh, at target. We ended up selling for 12, which is, you know, not bad all considering um, it ended up being uh, uh, a 66, that makes it about that, 66% trade, uh, which is, you know, not so bad, in my opinion, uh, for something that was pretty quick and, in my opinion, safe because it was on the double bottom with a very precise target that we could see as a flashing red kind of thing. So here's, here's how it was uh, in real life. This is how we saw things happening. Amazon took a gap up this morning. Basically, it was opening um, right there. And I'll show you here. This was a double top, very precise. It's not crossing this line. Uh, and right off the top at the gate, we started pulling back. Pulling back to where, pretty much where this was a top um, on, on the previous day. So basically, we dropped under, and this is a back test. Back test is this line being lost, lose it, and then it tests it, tests it, and it says no. And no to what? Well, no to here, right? And this is what I was telling you about. This is the low, and this is one, two, and it doesn't want to break under and got to that line, so it creates a channel, and this is the channel we're in. I told you about this, so this becomes the double bottom that we want to trade and where will it go it will go to that see that because we have and i'll show you exactly where i had in mind and i'll bring this closer to you so just keep in mind that what i have at the bottom here is the previous uh double bottom that i just mentioned now Double bottom, it looked really appealing at that time. And then I thought it was it would bounce right away when it didn't. And then it came down like this. And this wick, I think I alerted pretty much on this wick. You know how these wicks are showing that the bottom are getting bought. Bottoms are getting bought. And then there's this, this pseudo red uh, uh, area here that was just a little under our, um, our uh, premium. And this becomes your stop if we lose it we lose the previous day support and we're moving lower so we want to exit that at that point point. and i told you about delta if we're losing uh three dollars four dollars to the downside we're looking at losing uh three or four times two so you're losing what you do losing uh a dollar on your premium uh, if, if, if that, so if, if you paid like we did 720, you'd be down to 620. It's not the end of the world because we're looking at a target, which is in this area. And that is where I usually draw a line like this. See, this is a 31, 32. This is the top. I had 31, 29. I like to put it just a hair under and I'll show you why. I like to grab, see this is 31.29. I like to grab these these highs and maybe just a little lower. And this is where we this is where we ended up to. So basically what you did, you took a safe play in this area on the double bottom, and your target is to what? First resistance. Is this going any higher by the end of the week? Could be. Doesn't matter. We had a plan and it worked. 
you, you manage to have a safe entry on a risk management, knowing that if it drops below, you are pulling out of it. And you had a target before you entered. And on top of that, you were able to calculate your delta on how much you would be, uh, your risk reward would be. So there you go. We showed you the um, technicals and how it could be done uh, in the first place. And then showed you um, on real life, on a real chart, what happened and how we alerted. Hope you guys uh, learned something today and see you again.